I just picked this up on eBay. So, this is an RC-10T with a with an A-Mains Dudgeon conversion kit. And essentially they used they use your RC-10T and you got a another transmission chassis, upper plate, and shock towers. Now I didn't clean this one up much, I was tempted to, but I didn't do a lot of cleanup just to give you an idea of what, give you the full effect here of what I got, of how it was being used. So we have Got an OS10 CZ engine. I'm not sure the condition of it. I did put a little bit of penetrating oil in there, and it feels like it has a decent amount of compression. Unfortunately, I don't really have any. I used to have one around. But I don't have any starter boxes. Nothing that's really correct to start this. Um, but I have ways to convert it to recoil, so that's not a big deal. I might even have a crankshaft to do that. Um, now, I don't know a whole lot about these, but the pictures and the information I find, the kit did not give. This is a, obviously a, a Kyosho fuel tank, so that was either changed out or for some reason used, but it fits perfectly in there. It pretty much is made for that size. This truck has a lot of neat little st things on it. It's not just, they didn't just use the factory hardware. They have some upgrades here. This is a MIP steering set. They have some RPM rod ends on here. And I think, I'm not sure, those look like um, Thorpe Punisher turnbuckles. Seem pretty heavy. RPM front bumper. Uh, I don't remember who makes this pipe. That's a really, really neat old school pipe though. I've seen them on other kits. Really like that. And a Team Losi Hydra Drive. It's pretty cool. Yeah, long crankshaft engine. I don't know if... I don't know... It, it must not be using the team-associated clutch and flywheel because those use the cone on a short crankshaft. Oh, that clutch bell looks pretty narrow. So I wonder if it uses the, the clutch shoes. I'll have to find that out. I'm curious. But as I said before, you got a... In the kit, you got a, a white nylon... I did find the, 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 there's a copy of the instructions on, online, the manual, it's pretty cool. It's like all handwritten, I've been referring to that for more technical, like what it's supposed to come with, to compare it to this. Yep, some really neat old stuff. And this, this connector I've never seen before, I'm not sure what it is, what it's called. I got two big blade the positive and negative. It's a pretty interesting design. They use that for the receiver battery. Heavy NICAD type wiring. <laughs> get to the to get to get it to the front here. Now, I was supposed to receive I was supposed to also get a receiver with this truck, but they decided to keep it apparently. It was a uh, a KO Propo um, FM receiver, if I remember correctly, which I really couldn't have used. I don't really have any transmitters for it. It was kind of an oddball, like, like 40 megahertz or something. But, um, eh, not a big deal, because I wouldn't have used it anyway. Got some JR servo servos here. I'm not sure what the 
I don't know much about the JR stuff. I mean, I, I bought other chassis with them. Um, but if they work, you know, they're, it's, they're okay to keep, I suppose. They're, they're in good condition. They look like they're in good, good condition. I don't know what the specs are on these. They're both the same, these 4735s. It certainly is a very smooth, quiet servo. I don't know if it's like a gear reducted one or. Uh, I'll have to look up the specs. See what that's what they're all about. It's a cool old Duratrax cylinder head on that OS. They have Team Losi tires in the front. Not sure if they. I guess they. Looks like they, they cut the second. That was intentionally cut. They ground down some of the ribs on there. Might have had too much side bite, so they might have done that to get the back end to come around a little bit better. Or not. The opposite effect. Whatever they're trying to do, they, they modify them. And I've seen these every now and then. These were com more common back in the day, these Y design. And this rubber. A lot of this rubber from this era, uh, when it gets this old, a lot of it like dry rots. But these look really good, and I guess it seems like if it's if it's stored in half decent uh, in half decent conditions, it holds up. These look really good yet, and still kind of usable. Pretty nice. So that's about it for this one. I do have uh, a J Concepts. Uh, F-150, it's a fairly recently produced body, an F-150, like a 93 style body, but it's made to fit the original T, RC-10T. This, this kit makes it considerably longer, so the body that did come with that is this protoform body. I think it's been a while since they made stadium truck body, unless it's supposed to be a street body, but I don't think so. That's pretty long. And the styling would, would, wouldn't be right. So yeah, that's that's a old school protoform Dodge body there. Fits it very well. Might have been an RC10 GT body, like an earlier earlier one. It's actually not in too bad a condition. It wasn't cut very well, but um, it isn't beat up and the paint's okay. He did a half de decent job putting this black on here. It's just a very dirty example of it right now. And it's a little bit cracked. They, they use, it looks like they use a 20, 124th scale uh, die cast decal kit on it. Yeah, there's a few cracks in this body. It's, it's been run around the block a few times. There's that protoform logo. So when I get this running, I'll make another video. Well, that's a, I thought that'd be a very cool example of an old school stadium truck you don't see as often anymore. Take care.